Hey guys, what's up? Chill Pill here. Thank you all very much for sending me a whole bunch of questions for this Q&A vlog. I am uh, very surprised by the amount of questions that I got. So let's just get right into the questions. First of all, what is your favorite genre to listen to? I don't know, I guess I like listening to certain genres depending on what uh, my mood is, depending on how I'm feeling. So if I'm feeling very relaxed, then I'll go for something um, something more relaxed, like maybe a, a softer house song or a future bass song or maybe trance. But um, if I'm feeling very energetic, then I may actually listen to things like um, electro and dubstep and drum and bass and, you know, those sort of faster songs. And so it really just depends on how I'm feeling. There's no one set genre that I love that I, is my favorite to listen to. What is your favorite genre to make? Asking this to a person who, like, the most songs that they've made of one genre is like three, it's hard to say that I have a set genre that I love to make as well. But I think the probably the most satisfying to finish is Progressive House, just because, um, you know, with Progressive House, you can just have a simple beat and a simple melody, and then the rest of it is all up to your imagination. And you can do anything you want with it, really. And I just really like that aspect of it, that you can just take something so simple and make something so awesome out of it. What is the easiest genre to make? Hands down, DNB. Because, why did I do that? Because drum and bass just has that set tempo and that set beat that it just defines drum and bass. When you hear it, you go, oh yeah, that's drum and bass. And so all you need is that beat in order to make drum and bass, really. Um, and then you can just build off of that in whatever way you want, and it'll still be classified as drum and bass. What is the hardest genre? For me, specifically, because there are a whole bunch of artists who have a whole bunch of different talents and different styles and tastes of music, that some things will be easier for others. But for me, I'd say the hardest genre to make is future bass. And you guys haven't seen any future bass yet. And it's because it's just hard. <laughs> I mean, if you have like that one synth that's basically in all future bass songs, then, um, and you can make it sort of wobble, then you can make future bass, but I guess just that aspect of it, I've tried so many ways of doing that, and nothing really that I've found works with drum and bass. I mean future bass. They're all basses, all the same. Why is your name Chill Pill yet you have never made any chill out songs? You gotta be patient because it's coming. Who is your favorite EDM artist? I'd say outside of Monster Cat, because Monster Cat is definitely my favorite record label. But that has a whole bunch of artists that I really like. So outside of Monster Cat, I'd have to say that my favorite artist is probably Similar Outskirts. Because he just makes a whole variety of different music, and the music that he makes is really good. He can make uh, really super hard drops, and he can also make something softer. And I like that sort of variety that Similar Outskirts has. And I really think that he should get more attention. He only has like a thousand followers, but I think that he definitely needs to get more attention. Are you going to make any VIPs of songs that have already been released? Well, again, it's coming. How do you make the end card to your videos? You know, the end where you state your next release. When I make a video for my channel, my YouTube channel, I actually take the picture, like the cover art that I've made, which by the way I use paint, I know, super professional, and I film the visualizer um, using screen recording software, and then I actually tell what the visualizer was from and where the screen recording software came from, and then uh, I just make that into one video, and then I make the end card by actually, you know, making the next video, and then I do this. <laughs> if 
If you didn't catch that, then maybe I can give you a tutorial video or something. If there's enough interest, I can do tutorials on how to make my cover arts or my videos. Um, so leave your comments below. If there is, if you have interest for some sort of tutorial video, leave your suggestions in the comments and I'd be happy to accommodate. Who has been your biggest inspiration for making EDM? Monster Cat, hands down. But also, it's just been looking at the different vlogs from the specific artists of Monster Cat and realizing that when they got some songs signed on to Monster Cat, those songs were made from FL Studio. And so I, FL Studio is really the only music making program that I have access to. And so, and it's looked down upon for being kind of amateur. And so uh, just the thought that I could take FL Studio and actually make something good, actually make something that people will enjoy listening to, is my biggest inspiration for making the If there was any artist you would want to make a collab with, who would it be? See, here's the thing. I would want to collab with an artist that, where we would, you know, I guess have chemistry once we're done um, with the song. It's, it like has a good mix of my style and their style. I would have a lot of fun doing a collab with similar outskirts. I would see what he uses and hopefully make something good with him. And final question. Which is your favorite song that you have made? That one is a toughie because I have made songs that haven't been released yet that are starting to become my favorites. I've got a lot of new music coming out in the coming weeks. I think that one of my favorite songs, just as a uh, heads up, is Heart to Heart. That's it for my first Q&A vlog as Chill Pill. This has been a lot of questions. It's like one 15 questions, I think. Thank you, everybody, for sending me questions. It's been a joy to do this, and I hope that you guys will enjoy the videos that I have and the songs that I have to post in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Chill, pill, out. I don't really have an outro.